Shalom and blessed morning. So this morning, I just wanted to speak to you really quickly about three ways that Jesus has already showed and proved who his true bride is. I want you to understand something before I start. There is no such thing as a coincidence. And things in my life has have showed and proved that I am that I am. The first thing, my name given to me at birth, Tiana, T-I-O-N-A. The name Tiana, the way that it's spelled, means fairy queen. Fairy queen, the definition of fairy, invisible beings with magical powers. What are angels? Beings with power. They can turn into spirits. According to Psalms 104 and 4, angels are turned into spirits and they have power. And Tiana means fairy queen. Angel queen of the angels is the same thing. Michael is the Lord of hosts, meaning he is the Lord over the angels. So my name powerfully means that I am the queen of the beings, the invisible beings that hold power. And it says that Michael is the father of spirits. So I am the mother of spirits. And the thing about that that is so powerful, people have mispronounced my name my whole life, calling me Tiona. So I would always ask my mom, why did you spell my name that way? Because most people that have my name, their name is spelled T-I-A-N-A -A or T-I-A-N-N-A. -N -A. And it had my name been spelled one of those ways, my name would have would not have had the same meaning. So because she spelled it the way that she spelled it, because that's how the spirit led her to spell it, my name has a powerful and a special meaning. That's my first point. My second point is that my where I am from, where I live right now is Philadelphia. So it says in Revelation chapter three that the one who is chosen, the queen, is, is an angel who lives in Philadelphia. And I just happen to live in Philadelphia. Trust me, that is not a coincidence. I'm living in Philadelphia. And the angel in Philadelphia in Revelation chapter three is the one who it says will be worshiped. It says, I will make the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Think about who, who the whole world thinks the true Jews are. Right now, we are in war, and Israel is being supported by the United States of America, who is the most powerful country in the world, among other nations and countries who are supporting Israel, because they truly believe they are the true Jews from the Bible. That's why they support them. They feel like if they don't support them, they will be going against God. All you have to do is go on Newsmax and see the conservatives and what they're saying. They're saying things like, well, if you go against Israel, you're going against God because the world believes they are the true Jews. We, the black people here in America recently have been saying and more and more that we are the true Jews, but nobody knows that. It's a secret. Nobody knows who we really are. Nobody respects us as who we are and nobody lifts us up or acknowledges us as who we are or they would not be cursing us since they know the Bible says those who curse us will be cursed. They do all kinds of things to us because they don't fear our God because they have no idea who we are. Which is why Jesus said, in the last days, all things that are hidden shall be made known. They don't know we are the true Jews, but they are going to know. The fake Jews who think they are Jews and are not are going to come and bow at our feet. They're going to learn about who we are and they're going to acknowledge us as who we are. That's my second point. My third point is the day that I was born. August 12th, 8, 12. 8 represents eternity. 12 is the number of God's rule and authority. Jesus had 12 disciples. There were 12 tribes of Israel. 12 is the number of God, and that is the number that I was born on. That is not a coincidence. I was born the year 1984. Again, 12. That is not 
a coincidence. In Revelation chapter 12, when it speaks about the mystery woman, the queen, it says that I'm standing on the moon. Behold, a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And she is wearing a crown of 12 stars, eight represents eternity the moon represents eternity so the eight that i was born on represents eternity and the 12 match the 12 stars on the woman's crown in revelation chapter 12 so revelation 12 matches my day of birth the moon eternity and the 12 stars in the crown and all throughout the bible and in the prophecy when it speaks about me it's in number 12 daniel 12 speaks about me revelation 12 speaks about me even the chapter that i just told you about when it speaks about someone coming to bow before my feet the fake jews that's in revelation 3 verse 12 it's always 12 and i was born on the 12th day micah 4 and 8 4 plus 8 is 12 speaks about the kingdom coming to the woman so throughout the bible like i said in Matthew 12, it speaks about the queen of the south rising up. In Luke 12, it speaks about the bride, the Lord coming from a wedding to deliver you. In Joel chapter 3 and verse 12, it speaks about the Lord uttering his voice from me, being I am possessed by the Lord. It says he's going to utter his voice from Jerusalem. So all these things are in 12. It says the Lord is going to sit and the, I'm sorry, but I was wrong. Jesus just reminded me. Joel 3 and 12 speaks about the Lord sitting in the valley of Jehoshaphat to judge all the heathen roundabout. That's what it says in 12. It speaks about the Lord being here in Joel 3 and 12. So I want you to understand he has already proven who his wife is because these women can't show signs and wonders the way that they are being shown through me. But you are failing to see what is right in front of your face. The Lord has chosen me. He has called me. He has raised me up. He found me deep in my sin, stopped me from my sin, raised me and gave me all this wisdom and power. And he is leading me and all I am doing is following him. I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know when things are going to happen. My only job is to trust in my father, God, trust in my King Jesus and continue to do and say everything that they tell me to do and say. That's my only job to speak and those who have eyes to see those who have been chosen to receive this powerful message to receive this powerful wisdom to receive this powerful truth those who have been chosen to receive it will receive it because Jesus will not allow his children to be led astray those who are saved and are still to be saved will be saved because this is the will of the almighty God and that's what I came to say. Shalom.